So guys, Shad Juice here. Uh, I want to show you my haul uh, as I did last year. Uh, there's a yard sale every year called the Route 127 yard sale. It's like the longest yard sale in the United States at least. Uh, it goes from like Ohio down to Georgia maybe. Um, I went Thursday, just getting time to film this. I went Thursday and I started over in Kentucky and went Went a decent. I went from like 7:30 in the morning to about 3 o'clock or 2:30. Pretty wore out after I got done. <laughs> a lot of driving and walking. Um, I'll just show you what I picked up first. I'll show you all the diecast stuff I got. Uh, then after that, I got a few games and a couple CDs. If you want to stick around, if not, that's cool. But uh, I'll show you the diecast first. Uh, I didn't pay it. I think the most I paid for something was like two bucks. I'll show you the card and stuff I got. Got this uh, first edition Celica. Just thought maybe somebody out there might want that. Not really into it. Uh, picked up this Ford Focus. I just got this loose at a flea market last week, if you guys remember. Pretty cool. Get that carded. Uh, picked up a first edition's radio flyer. Like I think these, a couple of these were like three for a buck. So picked up another first edition's dairy delivery. Uh, if there's anything I got that you guys want, let me know. But uh, the only one I there's maybe two I really want to keep. I want to keep this for some reason, this rocket shot, cards, ropes, so I'll just get open. I picked this up for a buck. I don't need that. I got this one too. Somebody needs it. I think. Dodge Viper Treasure Hunt. Picked up this short card uh, Cadillac. If anybody needs that. Picked up a uh, 2000 First Edition Pontiac Judge. Love that car. And I got uh, this one in black. With the designs on it. This one's pretty cool. Like it. Also picked up a uh, Honda Civic First Edition. SI. Anybody needs that, let me know. Um, these other ones are different brands. Picked up this Cosmic Blues. Pretty sweet. Card's not that great, but the car is. Uh, I picked up these uh, two Ertl Dick Tracy cars. Picked them up for a buck a piece, I so said, why not? I remember seeing these when I was a kid. I like to find a bat one, Batman one still on the card. We got Tracy's car right here. Pretty cool. And we got Tessa's car. Here's the back of him. I wanted to check that out in 1990. At a collector's club. Pause that if you want to read it. And the other carded one I picked up, I picked up a Muscle Machines uh, 2000 Nissan Skyline GTR. If anybody needs that, let me know. I just picked it up. I know a couple of people out there, uh, like like James uh, Shear and. Slide cord, I know, like your skylines. Uh, let me know if you guys need that one. Uh, okay, that's it for the carded stuff. Next up, I picked up these two cases. Got this old uh, 24 car collector's case. Got that for five bucks. Really love these old cases. I was happy to pick up that one. And I picked up old matchbox one holds 48 cars pretty cool 
It says it's from 1978. That's what they wrote on the sticker. Got all the cases in there. I think I'm going to put my older Matchbox and Lesney stuff in this one. Then the other one, I'm going to put in my little Junker Red Lines I got. The other ones are in my case, but I'll put the beaters in here. And I picked up a few Lucy's. Show you them. Didn't pick up too many loose cars. I've been trying to only get stuff I want, you know. Show you this. Ain't no big deal. I picked this up just to make a dollar deal. It's two for a buck. Got this Viper. It's kind of cool though. Another car I needed to. I'll, I'll save that for last. Picked up this Corvette Stingray. A little beat up, but it was cheap. I like it. Now this lady had two Hot Wheels. This one place I went, and this was one of them. Got me this Bugatti. Didn't have this one. This came out of like the mystery cars, I'm pretty sure. Picked that up for a buck. I'll take a Bugatti for a buck. It's pretty cool. Uh, also with them two cases. Them two cases I paid ten bucks and I also got these two red lines with it. Uh, they're not mint or nothing, but I'm not bad. I got the, this Diora. You know, the windows ain't bad, but it is missing a wheel. So, got that Adiora and this uh, I think it says Turbo King. I can't read the bottom of it. Got this, like an Aqua. That side ain't bad. Still flips open. But, it was also missing a wheel. But, then two cases and these two red lines for 10 bucks. Thought that was a pretty cool deal. Um, also found another Skyline. I think this came, yeah, this came with like a transporter truck, I think. And this is kind of hard to find. Got this yellow one here. I'll trade in, you know. Somebody wants it. Pretty cool. I actually found another one too, but it was like the roof was all smashed in and stuff, so it really wasn't worth getting. Um, picked up this red line super band for a buck. Not in the best condition, but I know this one's a little bit harder to find. It's got like that dirt bike guy on the side. Inside, you can kind of tell what it's supposed to be. I'll take it for a dollar. And the last loose car I got was this U.S. mail truck by Matchbox, which is pretty cool. I looked it up on eBay just for the heck of it, and I didn't even I didn't even see one on there. It's pretty old. It says it's from uh, 1979. I don't know if that's true or not. Pretty cool. I like to get U.S. mail trucks, like the letter getter and stuff. Um, it's funny, like when you go to all these yard sales and meet all these different people selling stuff, man. I don't know if they're just ignorant or they think I'm ignorant. Like just stuff they want to price you. Like it's crazy. Like a guy I got this from, he had a case and he's like, "Oh, all those are collector cars, man. Uh, they're at least two bucks a piece." I said, "Okay." And he uh, shows me this twin mill red line, but it was a vintage one. And the paint was all screwed up. You know, that vintage, the vintage series one probably goes for like two bucks on the card. He's like, oh man, these cars are worth a lot of money. I said, that card right there isn't worth a dime, man. And like, you know, just, you know, once you've been collecting for a while, you kind of know what you're doing and talking about. And people will bull crap you, and or they just don't know. Like, there's like this Dodge Demon, I think it was like, a, it said 35th anniversary red line on top of it. Not worth anything. And, uh, this guy 
So, oh man, I got that red line over there in the case. I'll take 10 bucks for it. You know, it's kind of beat up, but it's worth it. I mean, I wouldn't pay a quarter for it. Anyways, but and he's like, if it was a real red line, it'd be at least $75. I mean, just because something has a red line tire on it doesn't mean it's worth anything. You know? Depends on the condition and what kind of car it is and whatever. But anyways, that's all the die cast stuff I got. I'm gonna show uh, a couple games and stuff I got real quick. Maybe I'll share the CDs first. Picked up uh, the Doors Greatest Hits. Got that for 50 cents. My favorite band of all time, so I just grabbed that. I got like this CD and them two treasure hunts for like two bucks from the same guy. So I picked up these Bob and Tom CDs. I don't listen to the show anymore because they're pretty annoying, but I like the CDs and those goofy songs they make. And for a buck, you can get three discs. That ain't too bad. The Bob and Tom Donkey Show. There's a back of it if you want to pause that and read them and this other one man boobs <laughs> kind of silly this one also had uh, two discs three discs for a buck you can't beat that there's I think they sold on their website for over twenty dollars at one point Anyways, that's the CDs I found, and these games I got for a buck a piece. Got a Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation, double disc. That was a good game. I have that, but I just picked it up anyways. Picked up the Deadliest Catch, Sea of Chaos for the Wii, for a buck. There's a lady, she had uh, grabbed a few games before I got there. She got some good stuff too, but... A little late to the party. Uh, I picked up a few Xbox 360 games. This one's for Connect. Kabbalah's Big Game Hunter Hunting Party. Got that for a dollar. It's cool. Also got Dead or Alive 5. Picked that up for a buck. And we got Fear 3. Says it's a. Uh, got the. Maybe Orphan on it too. That's kind of cool. Got that for a buck. And that's all I got, guys. Uh, appreciate it if you guys uh, stayed tuned the whole video. Appreciate it. Let me know if you liked what I got, if you need any of it. Uh, I'm going to keep like the loose stuff, the red lines and stuff. I'll let that yellow skyline go if somebody really needs it. But uh, just let me know. Thanks for watching. Later.